What's poppin' guys, it's Austin here with Volvo Enthusiast Group, also known as uh, Swedish Auto Group, which is my used car dealership that specializes in Volvos. Uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video on YouTube, and as most of you guys know, at least the people who know from the Volvo Enthusiast Instagram page and my last video that I uploaded, I announced that I opened up a small used car dealership that specializes in Volvos. So, the last year I've been very busy working on that project and yeah, it's been, do it's been going well. I should do an update video. Uh, time has just not been on my side lately, but if you guys bug me enough in the comments section, I promise I'll do a update video on the used car dealership and a tour of the used car dealership. Well, it, don't get your hopes up. It's a very small operation. So, so, so with that out of the way, the reason I'm making a video today is because I set a goal for myself when I first started in dealership that I wanted to get a car that was nice enough, collectible enough, and enthusiast-driven that can make it on one of those collector car auction websites, which I'm sure you guys know of the, the big two. There's Cars and Bids and there's Bring a Trailer. Obviously, uh, to get one of the, to get a car on to bring a trailer or cars and bins, you have to have a nice car. You have to have a nice enthusiast uh, car, and they don't come around too often. So it's been a struggle, <laughs> and the year is almost over, and I still haven't gotten a car on cars and bins or bring a trailer. But guess what? I think I found the car. But first, I'd like to tell you about my first uh, attempt, which failed unfortunately. It was a 93 Volvo 850 sedan in a beautiful emerald color. Uh, first year, 93, so it, it had the, the cool body kit on it, or the body uh, uh, cute, uh, styling cues on it. It was a very cool car with very low miles. I think it had like 70 something thousand miles, which for a 850 is kind of unheard of because everybody drives those things into the ground and I'm sure almost 90% of them have 200,000 miles on them now. But it didn't make it. I sent in the pictures uh, to Cars and Bids. They denied the application. Daddy Doug did not like it enough. I don't know if it's because uh, he's having some flashbacks from his first car, which I'll show you a picture of that. But uh, I don't know. He didn't like it. So it got denied. I moved on. It was a sad day. And, uh, but I didn't let it get me down, at least for too long. So, so I kept looking. And sure enough, I think I found the car. Well, I know I found the car because this 2007 Volvo S80 with the Yamaha Design V8 all-wheel drive. Uh, it's got a lot of options. Trust me, I'll show you all the options uh, uh, when we do the walk around. But it is a very cool car. So it got accepted. I sent in the application. Mr. Demiro liked it. So yeah, I'm here to make a video of the walk around and the cold start. Uh, it's it's like 90 eight or a hundred degrees outside today so uh, if you want to call that a cold start then you, you, you do you but I don't know we're gonna see you know what she sounds like we're gonna do a quick walk around video and just kind of let everybody who's interested in the car get a good look at it so they know what they're bidding on when it comes to the auction because this guy uh, <laughs> I kind of uh, put all my eggs in one basket and I'm doing a no reserve auction, <laughs> which is probably dumb, but uh, for the low, low price of maybe $1, you can have this car. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick walk around video, make sure you guys know what she sounds like, what she looks like, and come bidding day, you're ready to put in uh, what you think she's worth. So yeah, we're gonna get started with the cold start. Which, I think this car, if I remember correctly, most of the Volvos do it, but you'll have an high idle uh, when you first start the car. I don't know if it'll do it because it's so hot outside, but it has a cold start idle, so it'll high idle for like five, ten seconds, come back to idle, I'll do a couple revs, because uh, <laughs> she does sound pretty good. It's a completely stock exhaust, I looked underneath it, but she sounds pretty dang good for, a, for an old grandpa car. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get started with the cold start and we'll go do the walk around next.
So bad news, inflation, it's real. My 4.4 liter V8 has been turned into a 3.2 liter inline six. Uh, I guess that would be called deflation, but I don't know. I'm just kidding, this isn't a car. This is, uh, this is some more inventory that I have for Swedish Auto Group, just getting it ready for, uh, you know, the next customer. But I just thought it was funny, same color S80 completely different car but uh yeah we'll do a quick walk around video of the v8 s80 and we'll show her her quirks and features uh, i did my best to clean it arizona dust gets on everything so it does have a nice little film of dust on it now but still pretty clean we'll show all the little imperfections that it does have um, as you can see on the bumper here looks like somebody tried uh using a little marker to clean that up but uh yeah, that is there. None of the wheels have curb rash, which is pretty nice. None of the doors have any major dings or dents. But man, it's a good looking car. The chrome seven spoke wheels look pretty dang good on this car. <laughs> and headlights look great. V8 emblem is luckily still there. I've seen those fall out on some cars. Actually, I kind of wanted to steal it because I have a collection of R hood uh, hood emblems, but Obviously that will be coming with the car. But yeah, just do a quick little walk around. You guys will get to see every angle of it. This car does have the very handy blind spot monitors underneath the, the, the mirrors, the power mirrors to be exact. They fold in when you lock the car, which is freaking awesome. I'm telling you, this is the most, uh, equipped car I've ever owned <laughs> which is kind of sad you know you know people don't get that excited about a Volvo but hey if you're if you're a guy like me a Volvo enthusiast this kind of stuff gets you get you going but as you can see this car I did run a Carfax it looked like it it spent a lot of time in Reno and then most of its life in California or other way around I don't know you guys will see the Carfax but yeah pretty straight car no major things or dents on the dang thing. But uh, we'll do a quick little look through the interior. Oh, I gotta unlock it. Beautiful. Power mirrors do work. And we'll show you the other side, which that one does fold in and fold out as well. That's fancy. <laughs> But uh, we'll go into the interior and we'll go into the interior and show you everything else. The one cool feature that this car doesn't have, um, which not a lot of cars did have, is the rear champagne glasses with the refrigerator. Fortunately, that is not there, but. Uh, if you do find one let me know <laughs> this is a pretty dang hard to look time but carpets look great weren't uh any dogs or uh, accident accident prone kids in the back seat at least what i can tell you'd be surprised going to all these wholesale auctions man these cars get dirty well you know people just don't really take care of their stuff anymore and luckily this one has been very well taken care of. The one thing you will see on the steering wheel is a little bit of wear from age. The, the die from the, you know, for the leather wraps steering wheel has fallen off a little bit. You'll see it a little bit on the, the shift knob too, but I've seen some companies sell die kits. I just haven't found a company that sells the right one yet. That looks good. We'll also pop the hood. Show you guys the, I guess the centerpiece of this vehicle, which is the 4.4 liter Yamaha derived V8 engine. Makes 311 horsepower. Can't remember the torque. I think it's 300, but uh, man, does she get up and go. <laughs> it is a pretty fun car to drive. But yeah, there she is. If you guys want to see any more angles of this car just let me know because uh 
want the, the new owner to be more than happy with their with the with the purchase so yeah just let me know if you see anything you want to know about i will let you know to my best knowledge beautiful car This car does have the adjustable headlights or the steering, I don't know what they call them, but they're the headlights that move with your steering wheel. I'll show a quick video of that because I did when I went to go take pictures of it, did get a good video of how those guys are working which they do, <laughs> those things act like little alien light bulbs looking, uh, looking through everything. Sorry if I'm not making much sense. It's freaking hot out today. But uh, yeah, there she is. Just let me know if you need any, uh, any more pictures or anything like that. Actually, we'll go into the trunk, show you that she does have her roadside assistance kit, which is not a spare tire. These guys, did not come with a full size spare, not even donut. They came with little seal kits. So, definitely not the best, but you know, you do what you gotta do. I don't think much Volvo owners are out there changing their own spare tires. They probably got a triple A to help them out. But yeah, nice little car. Awesome. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I think the videos and the pictures give a pretty good representation of what the car looks like in person. It's a great looking car. It runs just as good as it, it, it looks. Uh, I've been driving it pretty extensively the last couple of weeks that I've had it. Uh, definitely more than most of the inventory I pick up. Usually it's just pick up, fix, post for sale, but this one I've kind of been enjoying it. <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely a fun ride, but I think I put about 400 miles on the dang thing ever since I got it, but yeah. Um, if you guys have any other questions about the car, I'll try and answer uh, those questions to the best of my ability. And yeah, just let me know. If you can, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, um, hit that like button, and I will promise to upload more consistent content in the future. Hopefully once, uh, everything starts settling down with the dealership and I can kind of focus my energy towards other things like making videos. I can probably get back to uh, some of the old content that I like to do, like picking up old 240s and 850s and, and uh, getting those guys back onto the road. But for now, um, good luck bidding because I know it's uh, whoever it goes to, even if it goes to someone at, at a loss, <laughs> Since it's no reserve, I, it will. Uh, I know it's going to a good home since it's going on cars and bids. So, uh, super excited! Again, thanks for watching, and hopefully, you guys uh, have a good rest of your day. Remember to drive safe.